Greetings, 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 everyone. It is LaShawn coming to you with another video in my series for Sacred Beauty. Again, I am in the Sacred Medicine Woman course, and as a part of my graduation requirements, I am doing a series of videos on natural and holistic beauty that you can do at home. Today, what I'm going to be sharing with you is a detoxification bath. I've already gotten all my ingredients together, and as I've been doing my research over the past couple of weeks to present these videos to you, I learned a lot about different ingredients. So I didn't pull a recipe off the internet for this. This is actually something that I put together um, because of the knowledge that I gained while doing these videos. Here is my main components in my detoxification bath. I have two cups of Epsom salt. And you know, Epsom salt is a great detoxifier. I have the French green clay. I did a video on the green clay yesterday and it has some amazing detoxification properties. It is something that I actually use uh, in my business. I do uh, womb wraps and it helps to detoxify and remineralize the womb area. So I'm gonna be soaking my entire body in all those goodies that's in this green clay. And remember in my last video, I had some calendula calendula flowers. They are good for anti-aging. So I had a little bit of that left over. So that's going to be in this detoxification bath as well. I can always use some anti-aging. <laughs> and if you was tuned into the video that I made yesterday, I had made some cucumber mist. And this is what I had left over. This still has the pulp in it and everything. So I'm going to be adding that to the bath as well. And cucumbers themselves, yes, they're great. They have antioxidants antioxidants in it but it also has some great uh, benefits for detoxification as well and then the organic castor oil I'm putting that in there because I just like to put that in my bath because it makes my skin super super soft and I'm going to add just one essential oil to this and this is patchouli patchouli has some great detoxification properties too another great uh, oil that you can use is juniper berry i just didn't have any because otherwise i would have put some of that in there as well so we have the patchouli i'm probably going to put about 13 drops of that in there i have about 16 ounces of the coconut coconut i'm sorry the uh, cucumber the cucumbers that i made from yesterday i'm doing two capfuls of the castor oil I have two cups of the Epsom salt. I have one cup of the French green clay. And this is about maybe about four tablespoons of the calendula flowers that I had ground up yesterday. So what I'm going to do is actually put all of this into my tub and I'm going to give it a, a great big stir. And I'm going to stop the video and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. As you can see, uh, the water has turned that nice green color. And before you, I do this bath, what I'm actually going to do is take a shower. I'm going to take a shower to cleanse myself because this bath is not for bathing. This is actually just for me to soak in it and to be able to absorb those minerals, especially that's in the in the in the French green clay. As you can see, the calendula flower pieces are actually floating around everywhere. I'm going to wait a couple of minutes. Well, I'm going to shower first and then I'm going to get in here. By that time, all the Epsom salt will be dissolved. I'll give it one final um, whirl <laughs> before I actually get in, get in this and enjoy it. And this is not my first time taking some sort of a bath like this. I do, um, well, I've done milk and honey and molasses baths over, over, over time periods, I've done other detoxification and spiritual baths as well. Always coming out feeling amazing, skin feeling oh so soft. And I'm going to set the mood here. I already have my candles lit. They're already ready for me. And I'm going to just enjoy this. So this is a detoxification bath. Of course, I will put the ingredients that I used in the amounts. And again, I'm making these videos as part of my graduation requirements for the Sacred Medicine Woman course. If you would like more information on that, go online to www.sacredmedicinewoman.com to get more information. Please like my video, share my video, and if you have any questions, put it in the comment section. And until then, thank you and have an amazing day. Thank you.